So there we go. That is the basic run through of Wireless Workbench. Just to recap, we have looked at how to get the software onto your machine. We have looked at uh, the basic functions, the basic components. We've done a really easy six channel coordination for a show and we've deployed it and we have a monitor tab running that shows the state of the uh, RF that we can see. So if there are problems, we can start to go in and troubleshoot it. And that ends this session. So we're going to look at the intermediate use case for wireless workbench next. In that, we're going to dig a bit deeper into the frequency coordination window. So we're going to look at how workbench is doing the mathematics in the background, uh, how we're getting those numbers, and how we can maximize our frequency count uh, if we have a bigger show that we're working on. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Hope that this was useful for you, and we will see you in the next session.